Hello and welcome to our collective worship when we're going to be thinking a little bit about Mothering Sunday which we have celebrated this last Sunday and also about how we can be very generous people. Now I've got some candles lit here and they've just got a very faint smell to them so you need to imagine that we've got smell vision today. So I'm going to talk about some nice things that smell. So we've got our candles that smell just ever so faintly here. But different scents can make us feel different things, can't they? When we smell something, we might be thinking about something or somebody else. When I was at secondary school, I used to walk to and from school. And it was about a mile and a half to two miles. And sometimes in the winter, it'd be really cold, it'd be raining. I'd be walking home and I'd be thinking, oh, I just want to get back home, just get back home, put my key in the door, go in. And a lovely smell of my mum's casserole would hit me and I'd think, oh, Yes, something really, really yummy for tea. And even today, if I smell that smell of casserole cooking, it makes me think, I'm at home. I'm out of the cold, I'm out of the wet, I'm at home. It might be that if I blew the candles out, that smell, that would make me think of church because often in church when we blow the candles out, it just seems that lingering smell around the building. But of course, many of us might think of smells like perfumes. Perfumes have been used for thousands upon thousands of years. Vases containing scented ointments were found in the tomb of King Tutankhamun in Egypt, who died in about 1350 BC, over 3000 years ago. In the Bible even, we read instructions like recipes almost for making perfumes from spices, olive oil and gum. We can read about those in the book of Exodus in the Old Testament. Such perfumes were used in worship. In some Christian traditions even today, sweet smelling incense is burned as a symbol of our prayers rising up to God. But today, of course, we more commonly use perfume in a spray. Have a bit of a squirt round, make sure that we smell nice. But we also find it in our soaps that we may use, things to keep us nice and clean. Or in the scent of our shower gel. This is a fiery pink pepper shower gel, so it's got quite a spicy sort of smell to it. And after I've had that, then I can put some nice calming body lotion on, which has got lavender, sweet orange, sage and cedarwood in it. All different things that go to make up these perfumes, these shower gels and the things that we like to smell. Many of these things may be given as gifts on Mothering Sunday, mightn't they? We might give them to our mums, our grands, our carers, whoever it is that looks after us as a way of saying thank you. Now I've bought my mum some smellies as well, so she's, she'll have lots of nice things, all sorts of different flavours of things to be able to use in the bath and in the shower. But some perfumes are very expensive perfumes. Even for a small bottle like this, you might be paying thousands of pounds depending on what's in it. This one was not thousands of pounds, don't worry. But even the very smallest quantity can cost such a lot of money. But a present of perfume, or something that smells very beautiful, can be a way that we can give a gift of showing somebody that we really care about them. Now there's a story in the Bible that I'd like to share with you this morning about someone who used perfume to show Jesus how much she cared. And this story can be found in St Mark's Gospel. So this is in the New Testament when we read the stories all about Jesus. And this is a story about some precious perfume. One day Jesus was in Bethany a village that was about two miles from the city of Jerusalem. And he was staying at the home of a friend called Simon. 
but there was little time to rest. Things were not going great. There were jealous people who hated Jesus and they wanted to arrest him and to kill him. But they must, they thought we must do it secretly. We must do it quietly. We must wait until the city has gone to sleep. At Simon's house, it was supper time. And when Jesus and his disciples were all sitting around having their meal together, they were startled by somebody coming in, entering into the room. For a moment, everyone stopped thinking, is it one of Jesus's enemies come to take him away? But then they saw that it was a woman. She carried no weapon, only a small white perfume jar, the kind that was used for very expensive perfumes. She drew close to Jesus. She knelt at his feet and then opening the jar, she rose and allowed the drops of perfume to fall over his head and his hair. Instantly, the room was filled with the loveliest fragrance. But not everyone was impressed by what they saw. What a waste, somebody said angrily. The money spent on that perfume could have been given to people who were poor. They criticised the woman so strongly, she began to cry. Leave her alone, Jesus said. Don't bother her. Can't you see that this woman has done for me a beautiful thing? You will always have to take care of the poor but I shall not always be with you. I will not be with you for very much longer. She has taken the chance to show she cares and I appreciate her generosity. Believe me, people will always remember what she has done. For days afterwards, the smell of that beautiful perfume lingered in Simon's house. And when Jesus was arrested by his enemies, he reminded Simon how openly the woman had shown her love for Jesus. What Jesus said came true. We do still remember and we still tell the story of the woman and her perfume. So this weekend, you may have been generous. You may have given a card or a gift to your mum, to your carer, to the person who looks after you that person who loves you and cares for you. But I want you also to think about how you might love and care for everybody. How do we show that love and care for others? This story shows that actually, it's not just the costly gifts that count, but it can be the very, very small things that make a difference to somebody else a homemade card or picture, something that you might have saved up to buy, even if it's not very much. It can be just a smile, such as I talked about last week. Just all those little things that we might be able to do to show our love and our kindness, not only for our mums and for those who look after us, but also for each other as well. And in caring for others, on Mothering Sunday, this week, small things like a small drop of perfume can make a big difference. I'd like to read some words for you which were said by a lady called Mother Teresa. She was a nun and she spent all of her life working with the poor and trying to raise their plight so as people would help to care for them. And she said, we can do no great things only small things with great love. We can do no great things, only small things with great love. So think about those small things that you might be able to do this week that show great love and care for those around you. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, you did great things in your life. But you help us to know and to lead us to know that the small things that we do to care, to love, to show our help for others 
are so important to you as well. So we pray that you would help us to become more loving, more caring, that you, we would appreciate the generosity and kindness of those who care for us, and that we would show generosity and kindness to them. Amen. And so we say the words of that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, taught his closest friends, which talks about how we ask God for our daily bread, how we sing God's praises, but also how we can forgive others as well. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So this week, perhaps think about things that you smell, things that transport you to another place or make you think of a particular person. Think about those who care for us, but also about how, like that woman in the story, we can show love and care for each other, even in the very simplest of things. As Mother Teresa said, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. Amen.